Our third Hunter's Chase of the Day is race 24. It's the Tony McCoy Hunters over two miles. So, Jemima Carwell for Stu Gray is number one. Kazban Trip for Alex Cherry is two. Flames of Galio for Galileo for Paul Rose is three. Baltic Dragon for Pontypool Racing is four. And Fahana Landace for James Shea is five. So, just five of them. They can all pick up a little bit of money here. We'll boost our uh, end of year figures. We're already racing here. And it's Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes that's going to lead this. Baltic Dragon and Fahim Landace. Kazman Trip on the outside. And Jemima Carpool, the top weight, just pushing through. Oh, and we've lost the leader. He's gone at the first. Flames of Galileo. Went off a little bit lickety split. Unlucky Paul. But you've gone at the first. And another 12 fences to take. We've just got four runners left. It's Fahana Landace for James Shea. It's going to lead us over the second. Takes it well. Swiss Chris, not Swiss Chris. Jemima Carpool went straight through the top of it. Shuffles back into last place. So, Fahana Landace can lead from Kazban Trip in second. Baltic Dragon is third. And Jemima Cartwell is fourth as they all get over the third well. So, the reasonable pace being set here by Fahana Landace. And Kazban Trip in second still taking a keen hold. Baltic Dragon for Grand Clutterbuck in third. A visit to a hunter chase for one of his. And Jemima Cartwell in fourth. Fahan, Fahana Landes. James Shea. Could this be the one that gets him his 10th win? His 10th Hunter Chase win of the year. And he's got to fight off Kazban Trip, Baltic Dragon, and Jemima Cartwheel. It's aerial view there as we come back down again as we get to the 6. We'll take that well. So it's still this Fahana Landes that leads us. About three to Jemima Cartwheel, Kazban Trip, and Baltic Dragon. Skip over the seventh. So now there's six fences to take, just under a mile to travel. It's Fahana Landace, the one they've got to catch. Kazban Trip in second, Jemima Cartwheel's third, and Baltic Dragon's fourth. Lost Flames of Galileo at the first. There's no string over the eighth, that's five from home. And it's still this Fahana Landace that leads us. James Shea, Green Silk, Red Cap, Kazban Trip, Alex Cherry, Green Sleeves, Orange Cap, with the White Cross Band. So we've got a Scottish flavour, a bit of a mix between Iron Blue and the Scottish flag. So it's Fahim Melendez that still leads from Kazban Trip, just a length back, and the Baltic Dragon and Jemima Cartwell. So we'll start to get pushed along now as we come down to the final half. And Mile and it's Fahim Melendez over the big ditch, takes it well. It's got a 3 4 length advantage now for Kazban Trip that's starting to ask for a little bit, not really going anywhere. Baltic Dragon's the one that's making up a bit of ground. Jemima Cartwell's still trying to run on, but it's this Fahim Melendez. Fahim Melendez comes to the 11th, 3 from home, jumps it well from Baltic Dragon and Kazban Trip. Jemima Cartwell on the top waits nowhere, but it's Fahana Landes just by a length and a half now to Baltic Dragon and Kazban Trip as they're trying to run him down. We're coming inside the final two, get over the penultimate, better jump by Fahina Landes, Baltic Dragon on the inside, Kazban Trip trying to run this leader down, Jemima Cartwheel's nowhere, so we've got a further and a half to run, it's Fahina Landes from Baltic Dragon on his inside, Kazban Trip on his outside, they get to the last, a great jump by Fahina Landes, jumped it well, Baltic Dragon made a mistake, Kazban Trip is trying to run on, but this Fahina Landace is not for caught catching. He's going to win. He's not for turning. He takes the 10th win for James Shea. Well done. Picks up uh, Tony McCoy Hunters with Fahina Landace. Makes sure his Kazban trip for second. Point of Dragon is third. Did uh, Jemima Cartwell finish? She did. But she got a little bit of money. So a good win there for James Shea. Well done. So let's move on to our last Hunter Chase of the Day.